everyone greetings from ikea in this video i'm going to show you my favorite budget friendly pieces for your lovely interiors i seriously love ikea because there's something for everyone no matter what your budget is you'll always find something that's gonna work in your home obviously everyone's got a different interpretation of what's budget friendly but in terms of the quality you're getting i think the things that i'm going to highlight definitely fall into the budget friendly category starting off with chairs i haven't even made it into the main part of the shop and my eye has fallen on these gorgeous solid pine chairs pine is a sustainably sourced wood so that's great it hits all the environmental credentials but what i really love about this style is that it's classic it's never going to go out of fashion and you've got so many options in terms of customization as you can see it's been painted fabric's been wrapped around the back rest loads of things you can do and it will fit into any style of interior. Transparent furniture is a great way to lift a room because it's modern and it's fresh. And if you're looking to make a small space feel bigger, then you definitely need to include it. This white Linda's chair is stackable, so it's a great space saver. And the seat shell is available in different colors. A new kit on the block is the four set easy chair, Scandi style made from red stained oak veneer. Such a great piece if you're looking to bring a bit of color into your space. I'm so excited by this drop leaf coffee table because it's multifunctional in terms of storage and the fact that you can extend it or make it smaller so it will fit into any space and it's got customization options. I'd personally paint it a brighter color but leave the top natural. I'm loving the shape of this coffee table. Again, it's modern and it's light on the eye you've got the shelf underneath so you've got the storage option again really good piece what i'm loving about this tv console is the open as well as closed storage so you can obviously access your devices with your remote control and hide away all the ugly gadgety things in the drawers IKEA call this a laptop stand. Whatever it is, it's, it's great because again, the glass is transparent, so it's light on the eye and you can use it, you know, for your books as well as your ornaments and drinks, loads of possibilities. And it slides right underneath the sofa. So again, it's not going to take up too much room. The Nakana Solid Acacia Dining Table is one of my faves and it's new as well. Round tables are great for socialising and this one seats up to four people. It's also water and scratch resistant, so what's not to like? Here is the rectangular version which seats up to six people. Here's another space-saving dining table made from solid wood and it's white so it's going to give you that fresh airy feel one thing ikea do is really really cool metal furniture and this nickaby chest of drawers is definitely ticking all the boxes i think it would look great in a hallway because of the drawers which are ventilated so it'd be really good for shoes Another wonderful piece of metal furniture, this time it's a locker. I've got something similar, but it doesn't have the filing cabinet option at the bottom, which I'm loving about this piece. And the thing about metal furniture, you can also use them as pin boards. This bamboo desk is a great working from home option because it doesn't take up too much room. You could also use it as a dressing table in a bedroom. This is an IKEA classic can't go wrong with it and it's so affordable i've still got mine that i bought in 2014 so definitely want to get and what i'm loving is that they've given the option of buying a glass top it's something simple but just elevates it and swiftly on to lights. I love this metal ceiling pendant. I find the black a bit heavy, so I'd probably paint it white or another bright color or something like that, but still really good design, love the shape. This ceiling pendant has a sort of a handmade steamed wood feel to it that I really like. It's sort of modern and will really liven up any interior. Classic shape to this green metal ceiling pendant. I love the color and the fact that it's also metal. 
you honestly can't go wrong with these paper ceiling pendants because they're so cheap. And if you're moving into a new space and you can't afford the lights that you really want, these are just great ones to have as a placeholder. That's what I did when I first moved into my apartment. Here's a giant, more stylized version of the previous paper ceiling pendant. Really, really nice. This flat woven, multicolored woolen rug is just a great way to add texture and color to your room. Beautiful, good quality piece. Definitely can't go wrong with it. Here's another woolen rug option, but this time the colors are more muted, if that's what you prefer. Really nice in terms of pattern and texture, especially if your general scheme is a bit more neutral. This would work really well. Sheepskin rugs are such an easy way of adding texture and warmth to your space. Really helps to make any room feel cozy and lived in. This mirror really works because it's quite large and it's round. It's going to work with any style of interior. And as I've said before, mirrors are a great way to open up spaces, reflect light, and it'll make any space feel a lot bigger than it is. I mentioned mirror tiles in last week's video, so if you didn't catch it, make sure you watch it after this. What I'm loving about these ones are that they're stick-on, so they're really great in rental spaces. They don't do any damage, easy to put on, easy to take off, and you can have so much fun with them in terms of decoration. You could, you know, write slogans, paint, I mean the options are just endless. Cushions are such an accessible way of lifting a space and this one definitely works because it's embroidered, you're getting all the textures, I love the colours, definitely worth introducing into any space. Here's another cushion if you're looking for something a bit more colourful. It's also made from cotton and it's more affordable than the previous one. We're heading into winter here in the UK, so I'll definitely be buying this woolen throw. I just love the way it looks against a grey sofa, so nice contrast, lovely colour pop, definitely worth having. These planter baskets would work really well in a more boho, minimalist, scandy type interior, and they're great for adding texture. Next week's video is all about the stuff that I never ever buy from Ikea so make sure you catch that one if you haven't already watched it catch last week's video about small living room mistakes to avoid because a lot of the furniture I've highlighted in today's episode you can use to overcome small living room mistakes are these kind of videos helpful do you like them should I should I just do some more should I make some more please let me know drop me a line in the comments subscribe ping the notification bell so you don't miss out on future episodes because I'm posting regularly now and thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. Stay inspired.